Hello, my lovers. Today I'll be explaining the equation involving number beans, as you can see on the board, um, using some examples, particularly three examples. This is one of the examples. So, if you've not subscribed to my channel, I'm saying please click on that subscription button for you to get great content like this and more. So, let's get to it. So, in solving this question, um, we have to just find the value of what n that's n is the base we have to find n okay now this is given to us in base 10 already so what we are going to do is to convert this number to base 10 so converting this number to base 10 is basically multiplying the individual number with the base here the base is n multiply the individual number with what the base that is one times n and we'll write the powers so let's do it solution So we have 1, 2, 6 in bracket base n is equal to 1, 2, 6 in bracket base n is equal to 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 6 times n. Okay, then we'll now write the powers from the list 0 here, 1 here and 2 here so n to the power of 2 multiplied by 1 is n to the power of 2 so this is n to the power of 2 plus n to the power of 1 is n n multiplied by 2 is 2n plus n to the power of 0 is 1 1 times 6 is 6 so we have 6 here so basically this is this 126 base n is equal to this in base 10. So we're going to equate this with what we have here, which is 86 base 10. So therefore, n square plus 2n plus 6 is now equal to 86. So since they are all in base 10, there's no need of writing base 10 here. All right. So um, this is now looking like a quadratic um, equation. Right. So what we are going to do is to take this to this place. That is from the right hand side to the left hand side. So we now have n square plus 2n plus 6. If 86 crosses the quality sign 2, where 6 is becomes minus, we have minus 86 to be equal to 0 at the right hand side there. Okay. So 6 minus 86 is 80. Minus 80. So we have n squared plus 2n minus 80 is equal to what? 0. Okay. So how do we factorize this expression? Like I said in my previous video, the first term multiplies the last term. So n squared multiplied by minus 80 gives us minus 80n squared. Right? So what are the factors? The factors basically for this is 10 and 8. So 10 times 8 is 80. So we have a plus 10 minus 8. So we're going to replace that with the middle term, which is so we have n square plus 10n minus 8n minus 80 is equal to 0. So for what is common between um, n square and plus 10 is n. So we have n here. Now put the ones that are not common in a bracket plus. We have 10, close bracket, minus this, minus this is it. Now what is common between 8n and 80 is also n um, plus 10. So we have 8 here. Now 80, 80 divided by 8 is 10. So we have n plus 10 to be equal to 0. So finally, if we bring these terms that are outside the bracket, we now have... Um, n minus 8 and pick one of the bracket we have n plus 10 to be equal to 0 to be equal to 0 so let me clean this place to complete it so that means we have either this first bracket is equal to 0 or the second bracket is equal to 0 so 
n minus 8 is equal to 0 or n plus 10 is equal to 0. So basically here we have if 8 crosses equal to sign becomes plus 8. So we have this or n to be equal to minus. So the question said we should find the positive value of n. So this is our answer. n equal to 8 is our answer for this particular question. So I will clean the board and we do the second question. Now question number two is 23 base a to be equal to 1, 1, 1, 1 and 4 places base 2. Now we are going to convert this to base 10. Also convert this to base 10. So I will just do them all together. Now this um, 2 multiplies a. We have 2 times a here plus we have 3 times a and it's equal to um, um, all these numbers multiply the base here. We have 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2. Okay. So, so the powers here, here is 0, here is 1, here is 2, and here is 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So here is what? 0 also, and here is 1. So, a raised to the power of 1 is, is a, so we have a times 2 is 2a, so 2a plus. a raised to the power of 0 is 1. 1 times 3, 1 times 3 is 3. Now, 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8, right? That is 2 times 2 in 3 places. So we have 8. 8 times 1 is 8, so we have 8 plus. 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4, so we have 4 here plus. 2 raised to the power of 1. 2 raised to the power of 1 is 2 times 1 is also 2 plus. Now, 2 raised to the power of 0, 2 raised to the power of 0 is 1 times 1 is 1. So, now if you add this, um, this is totally 15. And we have 2a plus 3 to be equal to 15. 15 because this is 12, this is 14, and this is 15. So, we are asked to find the value of a. So um, this plus 3 crosses plus 3 crosses to this place. And we have 2a to be equal to 15 minus 3. And 2a is now equal to 15 minus 3 is 12. So we have 12 here. Divide both sides by, by 2. Divide both sides here by 2. These two cancels these two. And a is finally equal to what? 6. So this is the answer to the second question. Okay. Now, finally, the third question. Finally, the third question. So you can see it has to do with um, conversion. You convert to base 10. And from there, you find the exact value of the base that you're looking for. All right. So the third question. Now, the third question, question number three is, x divided by plus 101 to be equal to 110 divided by 1000. So this is the question. So we have to find the value of x. Find x. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is to convert. Um, all these numbers are in base 2. So we'll convert them from base 2 to base 10 then we um, cross multiply because there's an equality sign in the middle separating the, the right from the separate separating the left from the right so um let's get to it so the first thing i will do here is this 101 base 2 is equal to what 1 times 2 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times what 2 so the power here is 0 the power here is 1 the power here is 2 now 2 to the power of 2 here is what? 4. 4 times 1 is 4 plus. Now this is 0 because 2 times 0 is 0. So we have 2 to the power of 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So basically this is equal to what? 5 base 10. So 101 base 2. So 101 base 2 is equal to um, 5 base 10. Okay. So this now. 110 base 2 is now equal to. 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 
0 times 2. This is the power of 0. Power here is 0. Power here is 1. Power here is 2. So we now have this is what 4, like we just did. It was, this is now what um, 6, because 2, two to the power of 1 is what 2 times 2 is times 1 is 2. So we have this as what 0, and we have 6 in this 10. Okay. Now, finally, the last one is this. So we have one one, okay. We have one zero zero, which is one thousand base two. Yeah, I'm not going to bother you by doing the um, by writing everything at once. Um, if the power here is zero, if you consider the power here is zero, power here is one, power here is two, power here is three, right? So and these numbers are all zeros. So any number multiplied by zero is zero. So there's no way of writing it. So we'll consider just this one here. Now, 2 multiplied by, um, 1 multiplied by 2, right, to the power of 3 is 8. So, we have this as 8 is 10. So, back to what we have here. So, that means our question is, this implies our question is x divided by x. That means our question is x divided by x plus 101 which is what 5 to be equal to the next thing is what 110 110 which is what 6 6 divided by now 100 which is what 8 so we now have this now looking at this like i said initially what we are going to do is what to cross multiply now this down part multiplies this and this multiplies this multiplies this so what i'm saying basically is this now x multiplies 8 and everything down here multiplies 6 so i now have that what i have 8 times x or 8x which is now equal to what i'll put 6 outside and i'll write x plus 5 inside the bracket so this now implies 8x is equal to now 6 times x 6 times x is 6x 6 times 5 is 30 so we have here as what 6x plus 30 which also implies if if 6x crosses equal its sign to where it x is that's this 6 crosses to this place we now have we now have what 8x minus 6x to be equal to 30 so 8x minus 6x is equal to now 8x minus 6x is equal to, it's equal to 2x equal to 2x so we have 2x is equal to 30 so basically if you divide both sides you have 15 as your answer so thank you guys for watching